Well, hello, friends. Coach Bob with you today, and today I'm out on the Tiger Rally 900 Pro. Man, or 900 Rally Pro, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I am in search for a dirt road that is supposed to start to be dirt about a mile down this road, I'm told. Runs into a road called Old Centerville Road. And then I can take a ride on that. That'll run me up to Bradley's Country Store where you've seen Coach Vic and I go in there and get sausage sandwiches and that sort of stuff. Anyway, I hope you're doing well today. Um, just going to do a little break-in uh, news on the old Tiger. I've ridden between five and 600 miles. So I don't have a lot of miles on it, but I got enough to have a general idea of what's going on. I've learned the features of it. We'll talk a little bit about some of my likes and dislikes. Um, have to be cautious around blind turns because come around this turn, <laughs> might be dirt, sand or something. So let's talk a little bit about the uh, the good. Man, there's a lot of good to be said. Um, the bike, the performance of the bike is far superior than what I anticipated it being. I'm just gonna be quite frank with you. I, I, I don't know what I expected, but I know what I did not expect. I did not expect the on-road manners to be what they are. And I did not expect the off-road performance to be what it is. The bike has been amazing so far, and, and it is basic, it has really absorbed everything I've thrown at it. Um, it's been wonderful. The, the ride of the, of the bike is absolutely quality, quality, quality. The fit and finish is quality. Um, the bike's top notch. I'm just going to tell you, if you want an adventure bike that is a middleweight adventure bike, this is the bike. Uh, I've ridden the, the Tenere 700, it's nice, power-wise, it feels anemic compared to this, I'm just going to tell you the truth. Certainly on the road, it feels anemic. Um, people have complained about engine heat. Um, I'm not in 100 degree weather right now, but the weather that I'm in, you know, on and off has been as high as 90 degrees and as low as 68 and it has handled it all well. Um, I've done a lot of slow speed stuff. I've done a lot of breaking the back tire loose stuff. I've looked for little, I've looked for chinks in the armor, so to speak. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop here and I'm going to put it into off-road standard mode. So the way you do that, uh, there's the mode button, you press it, and you press it again, there's sport mode off-road mode and then there's off-road pro we don't want it in off-road pro that turns everything off and honestly i don't think i'm quite ready for that you can laugh at me it's okay um so let's go to off-road then you press this button here to select it and now it tells you that the the uh, abs um is disabled i don't want to look at that so i can just scroll through i press ok and there it is. Now you'll see that lights are flashing over here and it's telling me that those things are disabled. Um, I'm sure that's a Euro thing. Now this bike, this, this, this road goes for miles back here. Um, so if I get on this thing and I, and I break the back tire loose, you'll see that the traction control will kick in, but it's not, it's not obtrusive. It, it, it really is, is very, very confidence inspiring how the traction control works. The ABS, if I hit the brakes, I can slide the back tire and you saw the TC light come on there uh, because the bike actually started to move a little to the side. So it has lean sensitivity. It, it, the bike really covers for a lot of rider stupidity. Um, and for someone like me, that's important. Roads like this, and, and, and the tires that came on this are a road tire, more or less. So they're not great for this type of terrain. And I know that, and that's okay. Um, but for what I'm doing, I'm not doing anything real aggressive. I'm just getting my, my off-road legs under me, so to speak. Um, I rode dirt bikes as a kid, uh, obviously, and rode enduro bikes as a young adult. But this is my first step off into the adventure world, and I'm new to it, just a couple of weeks into it. 
and I'm loving it. Uh, for those of you who are thinking about entering the adventure market, I will tell you that this bike, the first time I took it off-road and broke the back tire loose, I actually did a donut on it. <laughs> and uh, I haven't done that since I was a teenager. My face was hurting. I was smiling so big. This thing is a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun. Okay, but back on the machine itself. So the, the modes, you've got off-road, off-road pro, you've got road, you've got sport, you've got rain. And then you have a rider mode that you can dial in uh, any combination of those things. It really is very, very nice, the, uh, the amount of, um, of diversity that you have in what you can and cannot do on this machine. Power is gobs and gobs. Um, 80 miles an hour is easy. I will tell you, if you've got it in sport mode and you run up through the gears, I'll tell you, you'll be in triple digits real fast. I mean, real fast. The bike has gobs of power. As far as gas and gas mileage fuel economy, now on the last tank that I filled up, let's see where I am. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Let's see here. That's my average speed. 45 miles per gallon. Now that's not riding responsibly. That is riding on and off road, spinning tires, lugging the engine, revving the engine, and just playing. So the bike will do now on a tank of gas where I was a little more responsible, I was hitting that high 50 uh, average. The question of heat, again, everyone was complaining about the heat of the engine. Who knows, maybe in the summertime, if I'm crossing a desert, I may change my view on that. But as things stand right now, it ain't cooking my legs. Um, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know what background people came from or what motorcycle they were riding before. But my speed triple gets way hotter than this in, in, in conditions that, you know, when I'm in town and my SV650 gets every bit of this hot. And when Coach Vic and I were on our Spider riding on hot days, the heat emanating off of that engine is way worse than this, man. It's way worse. Throttle response on this thing, it's another question that um, I was asked by a fella on a Tenere that I was talking to the other day when I was at Grub Burger. So how you doing, man? Um, but I was asked about throttle response. Throttle response, as you can tell now, I'm on off-road mode. So I'm just gonna, just gonna come on down here in the first gear. And I'm just gonna... Um, the throttle response is nice, and that's on off-road mode. Sport mode, the throttle response is completely different. It is, um, it is very, very aggressive um, in throttle response. It's softer in off-road mode than it is in sport mode, obviously, but it still has plenty of it, and it is, it is super quick. Um, you saw the bike, the, the back end wanted to get loose in the sand just then, and the traction control kicked in a little bit. Um, the bike, again, very intuitive. I feel it, but it's not intrusive. There goes a deer. I don't know if you saw him cross the road, but Bambi just crossed the road in front of me, and that's why you got to be careful out here. Um, nice. He was coming up through that little, that little uh, creek bed, ran across there. They are out. They are out. All right, well, I'm not going to go into grave detail on this thing. This is just an initial thoughts video. Um, I will tell you one thing that I did not or I don't like. I don't like the Triumph app. Um, BRP Connect app is garbage, and I'm going to say, go ahead and just say the Triumph app. I don't like it all. Um, I can't get the navigation to sync up correctly, um, which really I'm not going to use anyway. But, you know, if you advertise an app and you say it works and all that, then it should work. I mean, that's just the long and the short of it. It, just, it should just work, but it doesn't. Um, I, I'm a tech guy, so I'm pretty tech savvy. And for me to not be able to get it to work, that means it, it's not working very well. Um, I'm the guy that helps everybody who can't get their stuff working. So try, uh, you, can, you can work on that a little bit. Now I got a stop sign coming up here. This should be Old Centerville Road if I looked at my map correctly. And if I take a right, 
it's going to be miles on down the road junction 343 we'll see <laughs> now if i hang a left i'm told that this dirt road here old centerville will run all the way up into thomasville georgia on dirt i'm going to find out soon but i'm going to take the right here and this is going to run me into town or not into town but going to run me onto another road um so yeah this is awesome um learning all of these little back roads and trails and all this this has been a wonderful experience i'm seeing a part of my backyard i didn't even know existed and that's really cool all right so there's a lot of good and a little bad but i think the bad is way outnumbered because i didn't buy this bike for the uh triumph app you know and that's really the only that's the only weak link that i see in here so far um it, the bike is rock solid it's rock solid so far so uh i'll do an in-depth review on all of the features that it has but until next time i want you to do me a favor go out by the motorcycle of your dreams that's cherokee plantation i'll bet yep that's what that is that's another road that i looked at but do me a favor until next time <laughs> go out by the motorcycle of your dreams eat right take care of yourself and remember, if you're not having fun, you are doing it wrong. Now you go seize the day and I will see you on the road real, real soon.